Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're tackling a puzzling issue that many developers encounter. Our viewer is experiencing a strange phenomenon with their unit tests in Unit 3 while using Visual Studio 2017. They've recently updated their code to make a new test pass, but now three other tests are failing when they run all tests. However, when they debug the tests, everything works perfectly. What could be going on here? Let's dive into the details and see if we can uncover the mystery behind this behavior. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it and hoping finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy just like me and work through to that resolution. Now let's continue on. Let's address the issue of unit tests failing when running all tests but passing during debugging. This can be quite perplexing. First, ensure that your tests are independent. Each test should not rely on the state left by another test. This is crucial for test-driven development. Next, check for any static variables or shared resources in your tests. These can lead to unexpected behavior when tests are run in parallel. Another common issue is the order of test execution. When running all tests, the order may differ from when you debug. This can cause tests to fail if they depend on the execution order. Lastly, consider updating your NuNet and Visual Studio to the latest versions. Sometimes, bugs in the testing framework or IDE can cause these inconsistencies. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Unit tests can fail when running all tests, but pass when debugging due to subtle state changes. For example, if one test alters a state that affects another test, the results may differ when run together versus alone. This issue is not uncommon. Many developers have experienced similar situations. It's unlikely that you're doing something wrong or that there's a bug in your tools. It's probably just a subtle case of test dependencies. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. A user faced an issue in Visual Studio 2017 where some unit tests failed when run normally but passed during debugging. They encountered assertion failures and a system type load exception. To resolve this, they modified the local.test settings file. The solution involved three steps. Opening the local.test settings file, navigating to the unit test settings, and unchecking the use the load context for assemblies in the test directory option. After these changes, all unit tests passed successfully. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. I faced a similar issue where unit tests failed when running all tests but passed during debugging. The problem arose from modifying shared data in my tests. 
Specifically, I used a class variable for matrix calculations, which got corrupted by the first test, causing subsequent tests to fail. And that's it, guys. I hope this video helped get you the answer that you're looking for. Now, I'll see you next time. Please subscribe for more question and answer videos. And if you have any more, please shoot them through in the comments. Have a good one.